Hey guys, it's uh, Chris Singer back from CNH Smalls again for another uh, review. Uh, this review is a follow-up, uh, actual up-close personal review of the uh, one shotgun I was shooting over the weekend. It's the uh, shotgun you see right here. This is a Charles Daly shotgun as a manufacturer. It's a over-under shotgun as you see right here. And it is the, uh, what's it out of here? Charles Daly, it's called the Superior Grade. Uh, model specifically for this one right here. And it's an over-under basic shotgun right here. It has uh, LED uh, sights on the front right here, plus it only has one little ball here for the rear sight on here as well too. So over-under shotgun. This is uh, given to me by my uh, grandfather and uh, it's you see it opens up here. I, I did mention in the video up camp that um, uh, it does have some rust on this thing because it wasn't kept in a uh, in, in a great environment to say the least, and it basically has uh, has uh, rust speckled all over the uh, the barrel and most of the uh, action down here as well too. So that's basically one one disadvantage of this one. It's basically a uh, a plinking gun. I take out the cab and you know blow stuff up and just like basically do like you know cheap and dirty target practice out there for that. It, it shoots pretty good. It's it's relatively accurate to say the least. And um, it does have vents up on the uh, right by the muzzle up here as well too to help for um, the gun jumping back and stuff like that. So it does have uh, vents up here on the top. I got about uh, one. Let me see. One, two, three, five. I got about ten up on the top. And a bomb. It got twice as many. A bomb down here for that as well too. And it also has uh, two uh, modified chokes. I believe down inside the um, end of the barrel here as well too. Uh, I, I honestly don't know when this thing was actually manufactured myself because I'm, I'm not up on too many of these uh, uh, sporting or uh, I'm going to call it clay pigeon type of uh, shock. I'm, I'm more of the Vepper shock and AK enthusiast out there myself. And this one was, it says made by, uh, well it says, it says KBI Incorporated Harrisburg PA made in Italy on the one side and then also side he said this is the, uh, as I said before, the Charles Daly Superior Grade. This thing can handle the 12 gauge 3 inch magnum shells as well too so you can basically put anything up to 3 inch uh, shells for this uh, specific gun. Uh, me however, I basically uh, shoot um, two types of uh, shells and most of my stuff over here. I get a typical uh, black box wolf, uh, the powered slug uh, rebels as they call them right here. That's the one I normally shoot my peppers and stuff like that. And I also shoot the um, double buck shots, Remington high brass, as you see right here. Uh, these ones are, um, I mean, you get a side by side picture here, high brass and a low brass right here, basically. Uh, I, I actually think the uh, the double buck shot actually has more kick than the typical slugs for whatever reason out there. I don't know why, but uh, it does have more kick to it. And um, basically, uh, also, there's one thing I also noticed about the. Um, Remington as well too, the double buck shot. It does to it does tend to lay the gun more dirty out there and I was testing the uh, double buck shot up in a cabin here this past weekend in, in this specific gun right here while I was making the other previous videos and the bore is noticeably more dirty down inside there. I can, I can look down inside it, it's, it's basically um, speckled with all kind of crap and stuff like that down inside in, in the bottom and the upper um, chamber plus the barrel piece as well too. Uh, for some reason, it seems to be a lot dirtier than my uh, typical uh, Wolf uh, Pollard rifled slugs on here as well, too. I don't know what's up with that, but uh, I always thought American stuff supposed to be actually better than um, like foreign ammunition and stuff like that, but apparently this is not the case because this is probably the first time I ever shot uh, this Remington Express through any of my um, basic shotguns I have. Is I always basically bought the Wolf, you know, the Wolf um, ammunition all the time because I really like it. And it seems to be relatively accurate out there for that and doesn't. Leave the my crap um, the Remington stuff does in there. So basically, I say I say I have a uh, comparison between those two. Uh, the Wolf seems to be more clean running either, to say the least, and uh, the um, Remington Express the double box seems to be a more hard hitting uh, ammunition whenever you shoot it out there as opposed to the Wolf. So basically, that's a review of those two types of ammunition. This specific gun right here, and. Uh, this gun works relatively good here for that. Uh, if you know anything about um, motor rudder shotguns, you, you typically have your uh, safety lever on the top here, as this one is right here. 
basically on this one get back down there basically on this one is uh, in our precision safety up and to the left or I should say let me rephrase that safety down over here safety's on right now and when it covers up the safe over here the upper left side is for the top barrel then when you switch it and you put it down and you move it over to the right and push it back up that's for the lower barrel on here some of the other guns might have a little bit of a different uh, safety feature on her but uh, that is the typical safety feature on this uh, specific style of rifle so up all the way to the left is barrel number one on the top ready to go down is safe on here for that because you give her safe illuminated on here and over and up again to the right is for your lower barrel on here as well too so everything else on this gun uh you got wooden stock on here as well too guys and you got a nice uh soft rubber butt pad it's about maybe about a half you know it's a little bit less than i'd say that's a little bit more than a half inch on the back here to soak up a moderate amount of recoil on her it'd be probably a good idea to get get one of those um uh, improved butt pads on this thing for that one of those ones you can you can actually slip over top of the whole butt pad on it. I think they make them online I can't really remember what the name of it is it's it's one of those slip on butt pads um one of my buddies have one for his other style of a shock and he really likes his um that'd probably be a, a investment to get right there since most of the guys I have are like AK or AK type of uh, variants so they're for that and this is one of the few ones that's not an AK variant, it's more of the uh, target or traps you, skeets you, whatever you go out, whatever you guys do out there for that. And it also has a, a gold uh, trigger down there. I think it's um, it's probably chrome, or it's not chrome, but I should say it's, it's probably brass or brass plate on here. I don't know what it is exactly. But uh, overall, the gun shoots good, never had any mishaps with it. And uh, it's relatively accurate because basically while I was shooting it up the range, was well, basically. Uh, about 40, 45 yards up there, and the, the sights appear to be straight on this gun here. Some sights, some sights on some of the guns out there aren't aren't too straight at all, and you might have to adjust them on there. That's why some people get a um, you know, a little red dot sight or something like that on it to basically try to dial the stupid thing in if you got problems out of the box and stuff like that. But uh, guns well made, don't have any problems with it out there other than uh, the condition was actually kept in was was not good. It was it was kept in a uh, basement humid condition out there for that, and because of that it has rust peppered up and down the barrel assembly out there for that. But uh, the barrel inside was basically still okay, and uh, overall it's a good gun. And if anybody has any questions, comments, whatnot, drop me a line here, and uh, I'll answer any question you have. Thanks, guys.